at this. Look at this face. <laughs> okay, so I created this look using none other controversial, out of this world, subculture palette. I use a subculture palette to create this look, guys. Like, believe it or not. And I love it. I just love it. I'm not even gonna ramble too much on this. Like, if you're interested in seeing how I got the a the subculture palette to work, to not get muddy, to look this delicious, this spicy, this saucy on my eyes, just keep on watching. Ugh. Okay guys, so I'll be in between New Wave and Dawn. I'm first gonna put down, and this is, um, the Milani blending brush. Let's get into it, huh? So I'm just gonna press down. No kick up. So I'm placing this all on the brow bone from the outer to the inner. And I'm just pressing it on. Grabbing New Wave and placing that right below Dawn. Remember guys, I'm only pressing it in. I am not rubbing the shadows together at all. I'm simply dabbing them on top of each other like this. I want to bring down all the way towards the inner corner. Just go back into Dawn and um, for blending. Star, which is that deep burgundy shade and I'm using this Luxie 237 blending brush it's the smaller it's a smaller blending brush one dab holding my head back and I'm gonna put that along the crease first and then out holding my head back and where my crease is it's right there so I can see the crease I'm gonna place the shadow right there I said all I'm doing is pressing the shadows I'm not swiping it I'm not doing none of that motion I'm just pressing the shadow on to get that blended I'm now gonna go in with the Milani blending brush that I initially had and I'm gonna go dip into Dawn same packing motion I'm gonna be dabbing it to give me a blended effect now I'm gonna be going back to the Luxie 237 brush getting a little bit of all-star and going over that What we want it to be blended to I'm just gonna go in to get this edge um, blended out I'm gonna go in with new wave Pat that on into all-star right there and with the smaller blending brush without additional product I'm just gonna press that back Our LC1 flat brush and I'm gonna go in with Q. To further intensify this, you can go in with your finger. This is what the palette is looking like where fallout is concerned. This is what my face is looking like where fallout is concerned. <laughs> so of course I'm gonna go ahead uh, well wipe that off let me show you this is so this is pretty much what the wipe is looking like okay guys so listen I felt like the lashes gave me more problems than the damn palette okay at this point I struggled with putting on my lashes for about a whole 15 to 20 minutes 
Jeez Louise, let's move on. The Hangover RX Spray, it says it's a prime set refresh. So it should prime our faces or whatever, right? Right. Anyway, so I'm gonna spray this on my face and then we can jump into the foundation. I don't feel like that did anything. Take the Born This Way Undetectable Medium to full coverage foundation and this is in the shade chai i'm gonna apply that using my foundation my flat foundation brush concealer and this one is in mocha one two and while we're at it I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I contour my nose I'm using the LA girl pro conceal and this is in dark cocoa just gonna take this on my little morphe brush that I use for contouring my nose Precision, my Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush, just to go ahead and set that. Using this Real Technique Small Accent Brush, I'm going to be using my Fit Me Translucent Loose Powder, and I'm going to set the light area that is right there. So if we thought it was lean, we're just going to use this to make it straight. dabbing that all over the face using the flower I think it's called F01 I'm not sure but it's this big blending brush so dabbing into that and I'm pressing it all over the skin after I dab that into the skin I'm just gonna go ahead and buff it out to give it an airbrush finish sculptor right here I'm gonna be using the shade inventor and using this flower bronzing brush I guess it's it has a little angle and I just like using it so dipping all the way into inventor I'm gonna tap that off and I am putting that little cheek part right at that little cheek part I'm putting this little angle part right against my cheek and tapping that up and I just allow the brush to hug my face like that for a little bit more depth I'm just gonna go into founder and I'm using I'm gonna be putting founder only on the area right here not the entire brush so I'm dipping in and that same area I'm gonna be putting right at the corner what this is doing is essentially just allowing for more dimension to the face. I've been loving 
loving the blush that we got in our boxy charm this month for the month of july and this is in desert rose oh it's just so gorgeous guys using of course my luxie 516 dual fiber brush the Luxie 227 T brush dipping into edge. I brought that down pretty low. I'm not, I uh, can't, I don't think you're able to really tell, but I brought that pretty far down. And now I'm going to be using Axis. So I'm going to jump into with Axis just to give it a little bit more depth i'm not gonna bring this all the way down guys uh by the way i just swiped the brush in that and there is nothing no fallout so i'm putting axis directly under the waterline the lash line and i'm just pressing that in just as i've been doing with all the shadows i think i'm gonna leave axis right there i'm gonna just put um a nude liner in the waterline a little bit okay so that didn't quite come out how i wanted it to come out so i just went in with all star on the outer um the water line i just stamped that on it to give that part a little bit more depth uh cube wasn't really showing up in there on that inner portion but i'm guessing if you have like a you know a lavender liner or something like that it would work and a darker one for the outer you can just use black whichever one you choose alrighty so what I'm gonna do now is grab electric and I'm gonna put that on the inner tear duct okay so there we have it we are done with the eyes I just went in and set the face with the Too Faced um, Hangover 3-in-1 RX Spray. And now I'm gonna be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Press, and this one is in Opal. For the nose, what we're gonna do is get a little bit on the brush and dab it right here. since I'm <laughs> just pretty bland when it comes to lips. Um, I got this lip bling and this is in high standards and I'm gonna see what I can do. I also grabbed for my Moisture Lock Coconut Oil Infused Treatment from Milani. Um, so let's just see. forgot about and so you know just to bring a little judge into this look a little bit more summery flirty fun I just decided to pair that with gloss like I don't know where that idea came from and why it didn't come to me in January but it came now so I'm sharing it in case you have that um and it did tie the look together it's pretty nice like I like it <laughs> um so yeah, as it relates to the subculture palette, guys, again, I didn't have an issue. <laughs> I didn't have an issue with this palette. What the heck? I love this purple shade, Axis. It's beautiful. I know that when persons were using it, everything was coming together muddy. And I mean, even now, I can tell that um, 
the shade, the color that it was coming off, as it's gotten darker, I can see that, but it doesn't bother me. Like, I can still see that it's burgundy, right? So, I like it. Who would have thought I would have created a summer look from the subculture palette, guys? Like, really? Really? Who would have thought? But I love the way this like it just brings uh, Not necessarily life, but I mean it just looks very uh, Saucy summer <laughs> dare I say um, I just love it. It's a really nice combination of shades and I love it Just the technique guys I just pressed it in you guys saw I didn't blend everything together muddling it up to make it look crazy or else everything would have, would have just blended all into one big mesh and mesh into one big mess and just look very gray and muddy and disgusting but I got the colors to work and I'm glad that I have these to play with like I really like these and look guys I didn't have any fallout with the palette. This is how it is. I didn't wipe it off. I didn't do anything. I don't know. Did I get a good batch? No. You have a good batch too. Just be more patient, I would say. Try not to bend like use my try my technique. Comment below and let me know if it worked for you. Alright, guys. Well, I said I was gonna tackle the sub the controversial subculture palette, and I did it's down i buried it person one no actually because i did the norvina palette in my last video that everybody was complaining about and i think that came out great i love purple that's like my favorite shade so chrisan two abh palettes lost <laughs> i conquered Alrighty, guys so i'll see you in another video bye guys